bright duty every student matters let us try and solve certain questions now write the distribution of electrons in carbon and sodium atoms now in case of carbon carbon has 6 electrons all right carbon has 6 electrons so if we follow the rule that was given in the previous one then we know that the first shell that is the k shell needs to get filled up first followed by second so on and so forth and the order has to be followed by twice n square so taking this into account carbon will have n equal to 2 and that is rather k is equal to 2 l equal to 4 that is the first shell will have two electrons and the second shell will have four electrons next for sodium we know that sodium has 11 electrons so for sodium k shell so in case of sodium how would we write sodium consists of k shell L shell, M shell. So in the first shell, two, eight. So two plus eight, ten. Ten plus one, eleven. So you understood. We could not have written in M until unless we did not fill up L. Once L is made eight, because we know in the second shell by following twice n square, the maximum number of electrons needs to be eight electron. So the second shell had eight. and the left one electron goes to the m shell okay so this is the distribution of electrons in sodium where the distribution of electrons in carbon is 2 and 4 okay the next question if k and l shell of an atom are full then what would be the total number of electrons in the atom oh well, that's a very interesting question they say that k and l are completely filled now what is k shell k is equal to 1 what is l shell n equal to 2 that is if we follow twice n square then 2 into 1 square which is equal to 2 that means the number of electrons present in k shell is 2 electrons similarly in l n equal to 2 that is twice n square is equal to 2 into 2 square which is equal to 8 electrons that is the k shell will have two electrons and l shell will have eight electrons so the total number of electrons if we take the total number of electrons it will be k plus l which is equal to 2 plus 8 that is 10 electrons the electrons present in the atom will be total 10 electrons now let's do the next question summarize the rules of writing distribution of electrons in various shells for the first 18 elements now we had already done how do we write the distribution of electrons in various shells what are the rules the first rule the rules are number 1 that it follows it follows twice and square formula where n is equal to 1 2 3 so on and so forth these are the shells so according to that twice n square n is the number of shells and thus we calculate the total number of electrons it follows twice n square number of electrons next is that the outermost most orbit can accommodate date a maximum a maximum of 8 electrons fine and the third one and the third one is that the filling of of electrons in the energy shells shells happens from 
lower energy level to higher energy level okay so first the lower energy level will get filled up first then it will gradually move on to the higher energy level so these are the different ways how the distribution of electrons are filled up in various shells i hope this is clear let's go to the next one if z is equal to 3 what would be the valency of element so if this is 3 that is its atomic number so what will be the valency if you write the electronic configuration kl 2 and 1 so the valency is going to be is going to be 1 yes because in the outermost orbit there is only one electron okay let's do the next question the number of valence electrons in chloride ion are 16 8 17 and 18 so there are four options given and we need to choose the correct one now for that let's find out what is the number of valence electrons in chloride ion basically chlorine chlorine's atomic number is 17 so the electronic configuration is 2 8 and 7 but the moment it becomes chloride then we know that it adds one electron and thus it becomes 18 so the the atomic number becomes 18 so the chloride ion will have 18 electrons and thus the electronic configuration is 2 8 and 8 so what would be the number of valence electrons what is valence electron it is the outermost electron which is present okay the outermost orbit the number of electrons present in the outermost orbit is the valence electrons so what is the valence electron that is 8 so 8 is the number of valence electrons in chloride ion okay let's do the next one which one of the following is a correct electronic configuration of sodium first of all in case of sodium you need to know what is the atomic number the atomic number of sodium is 11 so we have k l m shell where you can arrange 2 8 and 1 so the electronic configuration of sodium is 2 8 1 and thus which is the correct electronic configuration of sodium it's number d because the atomic number is 11 that is 2 8 and 1 